Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ha, Shankar, I was first. Good evening, sir. Sir, today I thought it was physics, sir. No, that's Monday. Oh. Yeah. I came for Shankar. Sir, for some reason today I'm thinking today is Monday because like today's morning timetable also to school I put I put all the Monday's periods with sir and class so also, I, thought it, I thought it was gonna be chemistry and physics and it turns out it's uh, maths and biology uh, math maths and biology you are biology class start then why do you think we have physics class no I thought it was like physics class and uh, like we there is a to... there is a slang in English language also that if we want to say to somebody that I just hate you, uh, <laughs> then there is a equivalent version. We say then that you are the Monday of my life. Oh, ah. because Nitish, you are the... Nitish, you are the Monday of my life. Yeah. <laughs> sir, my sister, I could have said it. Because uh, nobody generally likes Monday, so they enjoy no, the weekend. Monday. They enjoy weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Monday. And Monday, people have to go back to work, so that's why. And if we want to say to somebody that I I I appreciate you a lot, then we say that you are the Saturday of my life. Yeah. More like Friday, sir, because like. Friday is the first day of the weekend. Friday is a working yeah, but still day. still have right? to go to school right on Friday. Friday is the working day. That day is a full free. You can wake up late also. Yeah. But Sunday you can sleep late, but you can't wake up late. <laughs> okay, good. I but I can always have to wake up early. Hmm. So shall we begin? A new chapter. Yes, we'll yeah. start new chapter today. We will be starting inequalities in triangle. Inequality. Yes. So first I'll show you what we have already done in the isosceles triangle. We did two results. Okay. Same, we're not going to use right angle triangles anymore. No. Oh. Not in general. Okay, everybody can see the screen. Yes, sir. These things are already done. Just for a reminder, these were done in isosceles triangles. Yes, sir. Everybody remembers? Two sides of a triangle are equal, and yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So, if two sides of a triangle are equal, the angles opposite to them are also equal, and that's the converse theorem too. If two angles of a triangle are equal, the sides opposite to them are equal. We'll start with the follow-up chapter, whose name is inequalities. This is the First statement in this chapter. So look at this. Firstly, what it is saying, it is saying that if two sides of a triangle are unequal, the greater side has the greater angle opposite to it. So in general, what it would be looking like, it would be a triangle. That's all. Okay. So it is saying that A, B, C. So A, B, you can figure out that is greater than A, C, right? This one yes, sir. is bigger than this one. So it is saying this angle, the opposite to the bigger one, will be bigger than the opposite to the smaller one. Okay. So X angle will be greater than Y angle. Because the side 
y is opposite to it and is greater than the other side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this dashed line which you are seeing will go through the proof one by one and then see what happened. Yeah. So can you tell what you told again? Yeah, I was telling. The, con the statement means that if in a triangle, say ABC, the AB side is bigger than AC, then the angle opposite to the bigger side will be bigger than the angle opposite to the smaller side. So angle C will be bigger than angle B. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. So we prove Sir, it. Sir, in that, in your triangle, Y will be greater than X, right? No. AB is bigger than AC in my triangle. Sir, but you put 2 and 1. You put AC is 2 and AB is 1. Okay. <laughs> so it's not for measuring. What do you have? A 2 is like a so straight line. Let's say AB is 2 units. AC is 1 unit. Then the angle X or the angle C is bigger then angle y which is the angle b comfortable now yes sir yes sir yeah yes so what we do for this is you know this is the standard way of writing a proof what we are given that we write first then what we want to prove that we write next and this is the strategy part the construction sometimes it is required sometimes it is not required so what we are doing since ab ab is bigger i can extract anything smaller than ab from it so i extract the length ac from ab so i make this point D in such a way that AD is same as AC. But not to scale. Uh, not to scale. But I, I can always figure out anything smaller than AB from itself. Right? Yes. That's what it is saying. So since AC and AD are equal, I know that opposite angles also will be equal. Right? Yes, sir. So AC is same as AD. Angles opposite to them are equal. ACD is same as ADC. Now they focus on the triangle BDC, the smaller triangle. And they say about exterior angle. That exterior angle of a triangle, what is an exterior angle? Exterior so like angle, the angle looks, of... looks like this, right? This is an exterior angle, correct? Like the continuation. Yes. It'll be a straight line. The so exterior angle of a triangle is always greater than any of its interior opposite triangles. Or all of its angles. So, angles. so this angle M is bigger than angle D as well as angle E. This we already know, right? Yes, sir. Then, so that's what it is saying. So, ADC should be greater than angle B. This is bigger than angle B. Wait, what, what, can you tell again what it is? The angle ADC, which is this one, they so this angle is bigger than angle B. One more reason to understand this is look at it in this way I have a line and I have a point which I fixed. Okay. I make one angle here and I make another angle here. Who will be bigger? Uh, like the closest one. 
so this is bigger one right that's oh, what exterior. the exterior angle so this adc is the exterior angle i mean it should be bigger than both either or this one we chose angle b so the angle adc must be bigger than angle b adc is same as angle acd so acd is also bigger than b and why acb is bigger acb is bigger because its exterior is always bigger than any angle so so is it because of like d cd is like an exterior to cb oh, it is because the three is bigger than two, right? As numbers. So if something is bigger than something, and I add anything to it, this will also be bigger than two, no? Yes, sir. For every. It will be like five, one, two, one, two. A greater than zero. So this is what it is saying that ACD, this one, is bigger than angle B. So whatever I add will also be bigger than B. So I added angle DCB, this one, which made it, so this is nothing but angle ACD plus angle DCB. <laughs> Understandable? Yes sir. yes, sir. Therefore, this also is bigger. The conclusion of this statement is, Bigger side opposite is bigger angle. Okay. We'll remember it in this way. Bigger side opposite is bigger angle. Sir, so, so this chapter is about what all uh, like uh, the relationships in an unequal triangle, like every, everything's yes. unequal. Yes. So one way of uh, saying that is what is the relationship between bigger angles and bigger sides no, sir, for the we... entire chapter yes entire chapter yeah where can we locate them understandable yes all sir. of you very good okay so moving on to next part part is the converse of theorem 3. What is the converse? So, sort of opposite, the reverse direction. So it is saying, if two angles of a triangle are unequal, the greater angle has the greater side opposite to it. Okay. So initially it would have looked, it, it would have looked like this. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. I know that this angle is bigger than this angle. Okay, Angle CAB is bigger than angle CBA that I know. The statement is saying the opposite angle to it, that is this, the opposite side to it, that is CB, must be bigger than the opposite side to this that is c a okay now we strategy is the same thing from bigger comp from whatever measure of anything i have i can take out a piece of smaller measure right so i take out the angle smaller which is c b a from the bigger angle so this makes these two equal by construction. And since these two are equal, I know that this side is same as this side. I think your screen is stuck because uh, I don't see anything after the triangle ABC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We can can you see Congoel? No, no, no. I can see like the pointer is at angle B. Oh, yeah, that's all. 
Okay. It is showing. Can you move around your pointer and say if you're moving it? So we can see if you're, move, you're moving it. Are you moving it, sir? Should be OK now. Hmm? No, sir. Still at B, sir. OK? No. Be okay now. I don't have any signal which is telling Stop me that the network is. Again, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can yeah. yes, okay. sir. Okay, great. So, what we do, we take the smaller measure out of the bigger measure. This makes the angle DAB and DBA equal. So, the angles opposite to sides are same therefore the sides are same so da same as db so now ad same as db by construction what we do see a triangle is always formed when some of two lengths of the sides are greater than the third side right so therefore, in the triangle ADC, AD plus DC must be greater than AC. Then only the triangle ADC can be formed. I know that AD is same as DB. So DB plus DC must be greater than AC. Now, what is BD plus DC? That is BC. So BC is greater than AC. That's what we wanted to show. Draw bad. What? A draw angle B A D. Yeah. Draw bad. <laughs> Correct. Punk has been like my job. But do you get get the essence, right? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Moving on. Fifth statement in the sequence. So this was, I think, one of the points which uh, someone Sir, raised. We're, we're stuck in theorem four. Okay. I am. Someone says I can't unmute. What? So you am on mute one, unmuted one. Tarunda. Oh, okay. yes, sir. He did say, sir. I remember seeing him say it. How much is it, sir? Now we can see here on five. Draw yes. back. Some type of that will let me introduce myself. You are able to see the fifth statement? The theorem five of all ah. the lines that can be drawn. So this was one of the points which I think one of you raised during the geometry class. So this is the place where you get your answers clear. So it is In saying of all the lines that can be drawn to a given straight line from a given point outside it. So I had a line, I had a point which is fixed. And I want to know which line from the point towards the line has the smallest distance. So the perpendicular is the shortest, which means, let's say if I had drawn the green line, if I had drawn the yellow line, the blue line, the red line. So if I have to compare the length of all these four lines, I would find out that all these lengths are bigger than the red line because it is a perpendicular line to it. So that's why of all the lines that can be drawn to a given straight line from a given point outside it, which does not change, of course, the perpendicular is the shortest one. That's what it is saying. Okay. So what they do, the idea is simple. Okay. 
you have two lines one which is perpendicular and one which is not perpendicular it can be in either direction and in i in any direction the proof will be the same it's not that only right side of the perpendicular we have to consider we can consider it on the left side also okay so what we do first we take the line op which is perpendicular to ab yeah. and then we draw a line which is not necessarily perpendicular to ab from o so suma anywhere yes it could But be on line anywhere. ab on the, so yeah the segment is between the point o and any point on the line ab okay q o i mean op q can be any point so what we do now we utilize our theorem 4 and theorem 3 saying that if it is 90 degree if angle p opq is 90 degree then certainly other two angles must be smaller than 90 degrees right any one of them cannot be 90 this also must be smaller than 90 and this also must be smaller than 90 so if i have to say then i would be easily able to see that angle opq which is 90 degree must be greater than oqp also right so this angle is bigger than this angle therefore the angles like this in this setting will tell me that this line segment is greater than this line segment it means what the opposite line segments to the bigger angle is greater than the opposite line segment to the smaller angle therefore the most o... confusing thing i have heard <laughs> it's uh, it could be confusing yes but uh, trust me it is very logical okay yes sir it's actually very it's actually very simple yeah the right really angle simple. triangle and the a uh, side opposite to the Sorry, perpendicular is the hypotenuse it. and it's always the longest side ah uh, okay i understand i didn't yes, you can continue okay so logically it's the most plain and simplest explanation therefore the perpendicular drawn from the point to line from any direction is always the shortest distance okay understanding everybody yes sir yes sir very good okay now having seen these three things let's move on to some corollaries what you mean questions no so i'll introduce you to these terms see there are terms like theorem corollary lemma axiom postulates so those words were very confusing that it stopped yes. mid base so as soon as you go through mathematics no these five terms will always be there somewhere in some form all of these things are having a meaning of itself and uh, they so have you seen them for the first time the word corollary yes yes sir okay so i'll tell you the relationship between theorem and corollary when we see these three things we'll see about them so what happens first an information which is good information Yeah, something of use, something of value, is called as theorem. Okay, good information of some value is called as theorem. Any information which is gained 
using this information okay any information gained using this information as the important base is called as that information is called as corollary so base sir like converse of midpoint theorem is a corollary no 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 no, no 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 so converse of course it is one more name so i'll give you a practical example okay we tell you an information that if you take a balloon full of water and let it put on your head then at some stage the balloon will burst and the water will spill out okay this is an information of some value so somebody will tell so this is a theorem okay that if i put balloon full of water on my top head on 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 the head of my top okay then at some point the balloon will burst and the water will come out this is a theorem corollary is that if the balloon bursts and the water comes out then your clothes will be wet and you will get a scolding at home okay yes. this is corollary so you used this information as a it's like a result important yes it's like a result based on the information which you had if i study well i'll get good marks that's a exactly. corollary that's a, so getting good marks is corollary studying well is a theorem like that and the thing a study is theorem yes okay. do you get the point yes sir yes sir sir so we will get two corollaries from the previous theorems one of them is the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side which we already knew but we have never seen the proof of it now we will see the proof of it okay why is that so it is because if in any case you have two unequal triangles then the opposite sides will be unequal one of them will be bigger then you add somebody to a bigger one it will always remain bigger yeah this is yeah. one thing second thing is the difference between the length of any two sides of a triangle is always less than the third side now this is very strange but it is based on the theorems which we have seen can you tell how from so, maybe like complement triangles where this minus that won't will be less than 90 or something like that hmm. but um, the first corollary doesn't make sense in a right angle triangle right so makes it makes an every triangle so but if angle c is right angle in that angle a and angle b will also be 90 degrees they equal but not greater so they, they cannot be 90 degrees yeah the sides i'm talking about the sides so ac and bc will be greater than ab yes ac not ac and that what i'm saying is ab plus ac will be greater than bc so sum the sum of length of any two sides is greater than the third side there are two things i can still take ac plus bc right so ac plus bc is greater than ab ab plus bc is greater than ac any combination sir where is the proof for it though yeah so in your textbook they have not given the proof it's not a I theorem it's a corollary see so, co it still needs a proof it is still needs a proof i agree it has not yeah. been given in your textbook 
but if you want we can discuss okay it's uh, i think i think derivation would be a more appropriate term yes. i think you should shut so derivation so you know in physics we call it derivation in maths we call it proof okay only that's the difference yes so what about the first corollary do you all agree with it yes sir yes, yes. so i can only agree if this is proof Oh, we can yeah. prove, we you can prove it. Marks. That's why you we got can prove marks. it. We can we can prove it. There is no problem at all. Even I can tell you the strategy to prove it. If so, you know, since we that is not in your textbook, but I will still tell you how to do. Okay, for both corollaries. The strategy is like this. Can you try? Okay. We'll go case by case. Case first is all two, all of the three triangles are same. All of the three angles are same. Okay. Case two is only two are same, but angle C is different. Case three, all are different. So we have to go case by case. In this case, this is an equilateral triangle, right? All of them are of the same measure, yes. right? So sum of any two will be double of the third side, correct? Yes, sir. So this is valid. This is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle also, there will be same story. So this will be valid. In this case, you have to consider three subcases. Subcases corresponding to different pairs. First, angle A, angle B. Second, angle B, angle C. Third, angle C and angle A. All of them will lead to the same fact using the theorem 3 and theorem 4. Understandable? Yes sir. yes, sir. So if you want to write it, you can write it. You will find these three cases. In case 2 also, however, if you want to be more appropriate, there will be two cases. Angle A equals angle C and B is different. Angle A equal angle C and B is different. Okay. Same thing as case two. So I mean, in this uh, two cases will be uh, first you consider angle A and angle B, and then you consider angle A and angle C. Okay. Angle A, angle B, and angle. Now what should I do, C. sir? Apply the theorem four and three in both cases. Totally, there will oh, be one plus corollary. two plus three. Six cases. Yeah. Understandable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next is, so try to see this corollary too. So it's called corollary. Okay. The second O is elongated. Right. The so second corollary is the difference between the length of any two sides is always less than the third side. Actually, it is, you know, uh, it is the reverse of the sum. Okay. See, look at this. The first point. The first point says AB minus AC is less than BC. Isn't it equivalent to AB less than AC plus BC? Yes, sir. And don't we have it already? This is yes, the sir. third part in the first corollary. See. So it's just a swap. 
Similarly, AB minus BC less than AC, it is equivalent to AB less than BC plus AC. And where it is in the first corollary? It's in the like. Yeah. Can you repeat the question, please? The second part in second corollary is AB minus BC less than AC. Yes, right? sir. I can rearrange BC and send it to the next side. It will be AB less than BC plus AC. It is yeah, again the third one. part of the first corollary. Yes, right? sir. Look at this. Can I not write it as BC less than AC plus AB? Yes, sir. Which part? Um, like, oh, the corollary one, this transpose. The first part. Yes, this sir. One. Right. So it's nothing but a rearranging of the sides and turning it into the negatives. That's all. The point is, if you can establish corollary one by a proof, then corollary two is already established. You don't have to really do much. Understandable? Yes, sir. OK, good. Oh, the corollary two, like, it's like 1 minus 2 is equal to 3. See, it's less than 3. So if I transpose 1 to the other side, 2 yes. is less than 3 plus 1. Right. OK. 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 So I'll show you what the questions will be looking like, starting with very basic questions. And I hope that you all will be able to do. Yes, I can, I can do it. Others are not anyway in the competition today. Sir? I mean, Kongu will be, but Sankar Pantar Madam. OK. So, Try this question. What has been given is that ang angle A is bisected by the line segment AD into two equal parts. So you have to arrange AB, BD, and DC in the descending order of their length. So starting with the biggest length, then smaller and then the smallest. Figure is not to scale. DC and BD. So, where is it from? It is better of like AB, AD, and AC. Hmm. But unfortunately, it is AB, BD, and DC. So, see, actually, you can, in fact, measure the angle A. You can tell how much measure of angle A is. Yes, sir, I know it's um, use 80. Angle A is 80 degree. Mm -hmm. Eighty by six A. That means it's a forty forty. Oh my God. So can I use trigonometry? Okay, now I can. Doesn't need. Yes. Oh, hearing nothing from your. Oh, one second, sir. I'm done. ADC is 100. 
அங்க லேடிஸ் இஸ் 100 அண்ட் நான் ஓபடி ஆஸ்ட் ஃபார் அங்கஸ் அங்க லேடி பி டெல் டெல் மீ தி ஆர்டர் A B B D D C who is bigger ஓ One second, sir. Mm-hmm. So you and me, sir. One second. Oh, wait. Yes, sir. I'm done. Me too. Okay. So one by one. Which is the biggest that you tell? Sir? Baby. Okay. Are you also? I'm me, sir. Hmm. Who is the biggest? It's B C. Okay. No, it's descending yeah. order. That means biggest. It's not B C. It's not oh, even an option, bra. We don't want B C. you want this in the a, like the bottom part a b b c and then a c right so that's what's in the call it is written okay no problem so no, okay no 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 way yeah, that means i okay no. i sir d c and b d are equal yeah d c and b d sir what who are equal sir uh, b sorry one second one second B D and uh, D C. No, they're not equal. Okay. Wait, how can they be equal? I'm so dumb. My bad, sir. So in triangle A B C, angle A will be 180 minus 60 plus 40. That means 80, which implies that both angle, angle A is 80. And B and dac are each 40 degrees each so this is 40 and this is 40 which makes angle bda equal to 80 again this is 80 and angle and we don't need Why do we need it? Oh, we need hundred degrees. Now, angle look at the in triangle ABD. I measure and write it in an order. So order is that eighty, sixty, forty. Forty less than sixty less than eighty. Mm-hmm. Right. So forty is angle BAD. Sixty is angle ABD. and 80 is angle adb now look at the results what does it say the angle opposite to the biggest one is the biggest so adb is the biggest angle the opposite side corresponding to it will be the biggest one that means who is the opposite of ab is the biggest ab is the biggest Yes, sir. Then comes opposite to AB. So, so dumb, sir. That is AD. It's already in the correct. Uh, no, it's not. AB, DC, and BD. BD. As support to see AB and BC are the same. See, AD is also same as BC, right? Mm-hmm. Angle DAC is same as angle DCA. Both are forty. So opposite angles, meaning opposite sides, are the same. So AD is same as BC. DC, therefore BD 
I just replace BC and then AB. Okay. Uh, now, if I want to write it in the descending order, it would be AB greater than BC greater than BD. No, wait. AB is bigger wait. than BC. Huh? AD is same as DC. Sorry. AD is same as DC. AB greater than DC greater than B. Understandable? Yes, yes, sir. Very good. So silent today. It was so peaceful, I should say. Uh, because Sankal slept. Because Sankal <laughs> just moved out, sir. Something happened in school that I don't even know. Is it? Hello, Sankal, are you there? Know. Say he got beat in Temple Tennis, that's why. Oh. No, okay. no sir, I don't think that's the thing, sir. I'm just chumma. Tarun, having Tarun <laughs> claims that he's there. Tarun, okay, Tarun. I got you. Yes, sir. Are you solving also? How did you type it so fast? Okay, try this question. Oh my God, it's so eat out. So A B D is a isosceles triangle. Hmm? A B D is a isosceles triangle. Uh, A B D D. Why? Isosceles triangle. Why, why, why? In, uh, angle, because why not? Um, uh, RHS rule, they, uh, they are congruent. Uh, maybe some reasoning will tell. Yeah, yes, that's where it will be. SAS rule. Okay. B is yeah. 90 degree and A is That way it will be ABD and isosceles triangle. So what? Just one step ahead, sir. And show that A E is greater than A B. Sir, A B A B D is an isosceles triangle. Correct. Because they don't need device. The... Say... No, you didn't give proper reasoning. I'll... What proper reasoning I said? I said S A S rule. The uh, both these sides are safe, so it's isosceles. Okay, that's like a complicated way, but that's fine. You didn't even tell me. I said okay, so because what? only in isosceles. Okay, 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 move, okay, move, move, on, move on, move on, move on. After, after that, what? Yes, sir, I'm doing it. Um, after I cry, um, Sir, sir, I, I am done. Bro. Tell. What? Can I tell? Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Tell. Hmm. Sir, so because AB triangle ABD is an isosceles triangle, sides AB and AD are equal. Yeah. So since uh, triangle ACD it is right angled uh, at angle ACD. The rest two angles are acute angles. Huh? So, yeah, the rest two angles are acute angles. Yes, yes. Apart from okay. the 90 degrees. So, the complementary, uh, uh, sorry, the supplementary angle of any acute angle is greater than 90 degrees. 
So angle ADE is greater than 90 degrees, sir. So therefore, the larger the angle in the opposite side, the larger the line is. So the angle opposite to line AD is 90 degrees, but the angle opposite uh, to ang uh, tra triangle, uh, sorry, the line AE is bigger than 90 degrees. So A E is bigger mm -hmm. than A D. Therefore, it is bigger wrong. than A B. I would appreciate. I would have appreciated. I mean, I will appreciate for the clarity of the words. But the point is, there is a fault. Fault is, you can do the small and big calculation in the same triangle. Okay. This time. You chose two different triangles. Wait, yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, okay. But still, clarity of words is very good. No problem. I know so, another mistake. He said so instead of henceforth. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. So, what is your solution, Nitish? I'm trying to um, comprehend the question, Pastor. <laughs> I found out A, B, D is a congruent. I mean, no, uh, S is to start. Ah, so, so, yes. Um, so, SAS implies that tri triangle A, B, D is the isosceles triangle. So, uh, see, yeah. you know, sometimes, sometimes Sir, we. I have a S it's not yeah. Sometimes we should move backward also. Okay. See, what do we want to show? We want to show A E is greater than A B. Sir, okay. uh, will I be right if I prove hmm. angle C is smaller than angle A D E? We will move in this direction. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I want to show A E is greater than A B. So just a random thought. A E is here. A, B is here. Okay. So if they are bigger, the opposite angles should be in the relationship. That means A, E opposite angle is A, B opposite angle is C. Right? If yes, this sir. must be happening, then we can conclude that. I know because A, B, D is isosceles. So angle B is certainly angle A. A, B, so B and C. Now, this is like converse of. I can, I can easily go from this to this direction. That means if I can show and come up till this stage, that A is greater than A, B is a cake walk. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So how to get this relation angle B and angle C. You know it very well because see angle B isn't it angle C plus angle D A E interior angle is the sum of two opposite interior angles. Did we study that? I don't know. Okay, if not, if not, we can go sir, about. I don't, uh, I don't okay. remember studying it, sir. No problem. That means I didn't study. So, angle B, can you say at least it is 180 minus angle ADE? Is that okay? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. Now, about ADE. <laughs> Is it 180 minus angle C plus angle D A E? Thing, but in a triangle, yes, sum of all angles is 180. I'm just saying that this plus this is 180 or not. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now I just open it. And it and it will be 180 minus 180 plus angle C plus angle DAE. Right? 
180 cancels and therefore angle b is angle c plus angle dae correct and angle c is 90 degree now now see you have to add something into angle c to get angle b who is bigger angle da what if it's zero <laughs> so what angle dae cannot be zero it has to be a positive number by the picture we know sir oh by the picture yeah if, if not if not then b and c are same and you don't have you you don't have ae in existence ae is just ad yes sir. yeah yes sir so you have to add something into angle c to get angle b and all of them are positive it implies that angle b must be bigger than angle c yes and then the chain follows angle b is same as angle a greater than angle c opposite is a e and a b so yes. sir can i write do it, it like this to write it normally to write it normally it will go like this angle b greater than angle c so angle a greater than angle c in triangle e angle a opposite is a e and angle c opposite is a b so a e is greater than a b hey, laptop yes what yes. are you saying sir so can i do it like this hmm. so in triangle a d e so if i prove if i prove that angle c is smaller than angle a d e so like we can do it simply like that right because the larger the opposite angle the larger the line is right so right so how so do you that, prove a e d that is angle c is smaller than a d e so because we know that angle b is a acute angle and angle c is also an acute angle so angle c does not exceed 90 degrees but angle a d e has to exceed C 90 degrees because it's a supplementary angle of an acute angle and it is always above 90 degrees. So, yes, yes. so in that way, AE is greater than, than AD yes, and sir. AD being equal to AB, A is greater than AB. That's also fine. That's simpler for me. So uh, when you say acute, acute and uh, uh, supplementary angle, there you have to say this calculation that okay angle b is between this and this it cannot be 90 so a lot of english paragraphs will come but it is also possible no doubt. sir but like simpler thinking pro thinking process yes, thinking process is simpler of course so, well you first use simple so words uh, i don't understand the thing <laughs> so in any ways if you have to write you have to be wise to what to choose but both are okay okay yes sir yes sir. okay then so in next class we'll see more questions on this and uh, you consult your own textbook also on this chapter if you want yes all right then see you in tomorrow thank, thank you, you sir. Sir. Bye, bye, sir. sir bye hey tomorrow we have chemistry tab. okay welcome Thank you so much.